it's Miami. Right now at six, Miami Dolphins wide receiver Tyreek Hill addressing the recently released body cam video of his controversial detainment. Good evening, I'm Elliot Rodriguez. And I'm Lauren Pastrana. Thank you for joining us tonight. Hill says there are things he could have done differently, but insists one officer was definitely in the wrong. CBS News Miami's Ted Scouten joins us from Hard Rock Stadium in Miami Gardens with the latest. I'm like, damn, is this really happening? But, man, I don't, I don't know, bro. Like, choked, pinched, kicked, all that, man. Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out. Tyreek Hill said he felt like he was in a movie as he was being yanked from his car and then taken to the ground during a traffic stop Sunday outside Hard Rock Stadium. At the end of the day, um, I wish I could go back and, you know, do things a, a bit differently. He's talking about the commands from Officer Danny Torres to lower his window. Yes, I, I will say I could have been better. You know, I could have let down my window, you know, in that instant. But he said nothing justifies him being dragged from his car. Does that give them the right to literally beat the dog out of me? Absolutely not. Hill said despite everything, this can be used as a learning moment. He wants to work with police. I still love cops. You know, I want to be a cop. I've been standing on the table for the cops. I think we could be the leaders uh, as a community and come out of this with positives. Former Miami-Dade Police Director Juan Perez agrees this experience could bring some good. This is a learning moment across the board. You know, what not to do when you're stopped and turning for law enforcement, how not to react. Hill said that he just wants to move forward, but as for Officer Torres, he wants him out. You So you want the officer to be Gone. 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 He got to go, man.